Hello everyone, Jackie Tomlin here and coming at you with a large reading today. Uh, this is a different collective. As you know, we're changing things up over here. Uh, this is what I call how the story unfolds. I've done this reading twice over the last few months for the green team and they seem to like it. So we're going to share that with you here today. Uh, remember, this is a general reading. Take with you what resonates and what does not. It is a little bit lengthy, so get ready. And I want to say, uh, thank you for your feedback on yesterday's reading. That may be a format that we may be keeping around. Um, what else did I have for you guys? Uh, there's something else. Oh, Wednesday night. It's 7 p.m. 7 p.m. I am live. That will be a quick rundown of Aries through Pisces, okay, with a very quick collective. Our large collective is also Sunday nights at 7 p.m. Please join us. If you missed yesterday, all signs time stamped are worth listening to. Some direct messages there. So this reading is going to be a little lengthy. You're going to take what resonates with you and leave behind what does not. Okay, it is a collective reading for everyone. I am caught up on readings. Uh, a little late getting over here today. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. Uh, readings are at JackieTomlin.com. Some of you, there's some information here on the bottom of the description box. Payment first, reading second. Email me, call me, whatever would get this done. All righty, guys. Let's get into this. Now, some things that are jumping out for the collective at large. The color red is significant. The color red is going to have to do with apparel, and it's also going to have to do with um, a vehicle. Birthdays. Birthdays are significant. If some of you, your your birthday isn't for three or four months and you're already thinking about your birthday. For others of you, it may be that you're going to a birthday party. Birthdays are significant here. The letter W is significant here. And the word Chris. The word Chris. Um, yeah, that's what I've got going on for you. I want to throw out the letter T as well. All right, let's get into this. Hello, Jean W., Dorothy, Alicia, Janelle, how are you guys? All righty. We're going to get into this. Like I said, this is the same as my green team yesterday. This is how the story unfolds. A little bit different. Take with you what resonates. Leave behind what does not. Okay. First card up, we're talking about the Queen of Pentacles. With that, we have the Six of Swords. And the Three of Cups. So how does the story unfold? Well, we're going to start with there's an Aquarius energy here that may or may not resonate with you. I see a ring, a ring that was recovered, perhaps a ring that was lost, a ring that was picked up from a jewelry store. Uh, you could be dealing with a woman with dark hair. Doesn't necessarily have to be. But overall, it says that you're content. You're happy, you're content. Hard work is paid off. You're kind of looking back over your work, admiring things, so where things are, are going. And we have the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is talking about you're leaving the troubled waters. You're heading off into the calm. Some of you are looking at some travel plans. And some of you, this may be a cruise or travel by boat. The Three of Cups is coming in with three is... I'm not going to say three is a crowd here. No. I'm going to say this is a get-together, a celebration. Wow, some of you doing a tea party? I like it. I like it a lot. Let's see what else we've got to go with this. We have the King of Swords. The Ace of Pentacles. And the Magician. Wow. So the King of Swords, you could be dealing with a Libra energy. You might be dealing with somebody of authority or someone that wears a... Um, I'm not going to say... I was going to say uh, someone wears a uniform, and the first thing I almost said was law enforcement. So you could be dealing with law enforcement. Ace of Pentacles comes into play, and this is talking about new beginnings and money, making your money work for you. But you know what? It's like having that tunnel vision of focusing in on your money. You're honing in on the work and the career. This is a zone that I see you resonating on. You know, when you watch that pot it never boils so we're zoning in on work and career lots of ideas are flowing around there and some of you are being directed by spirit himself that magician of course is the highest tarot card in the deck it says you get what you want and desire it's right there in front of you um 
And you know how you got there? You know how you're getting what you want and desire? You put yourself first. You put yourself first. Oh, speaking of which, that was my other announcement. The podcast went up today. You're going to love it. It's a little bit more lengthy. This is when Spirit speaks to you. And um, it should be up before 7 p.m. That was, I knew it was another thing I was going to tell you. All right. Mm, some of y'all losing sleep. Disruption in your sleep pattern. The number two, the number two, two of wands. Number two is coming out. And the letter H. Okay. We do have the five of swords. Okay. So loss of sleep pattern. Some of you a little grumpy. I ain't even going to lie about it. <laughs> ain't even going to lie about it. You know, uh, what? what is the word? Where's Debbie at? Honry. Some of you being a little honry. Okay. We got you. Hey, Juliet, Dorothy. How are y'all? Um, two of Wands talks about, let's go back to that travel. You're definitely making some travel plans. Some of you are getting ready to travel abroad. Wow, some of you getting your nails done. Red is the color. Okay, we'll take that. We have that Five of Swords, and it talks about you're guarded, you're defensive. You're ready to scratch someone's eyes out. I believe this could be family. There's someone, someone is passing judgment on you for a decision you're making. We have the Knight of Wands. We have the Five of Wands. Yep, this family. And we have the Hangman. Okay, so there's going to be a residential move here for some of you. For some of you, it could be moving on the home front. Someone moving in, someone moving out. Some kind of movement. This could be a renovation. This could also be um, movement of furniture. You're going to get some backlash on this from the family. Just throwing that out there. Avoid some family drama. I will tell you to avoid, avoid, avoid. You're not going to be able to avoid it. You're not going to be able to avoid it. The letter B comes to mind. Okay. The hangman. man. You guys are feeling stuck. You're feeling like. I would normally tell you that you're not. Feel like you're not moving forward or backwards with no movement. I feel like you just feel like you're not going to win this. You're not going to win this argument. That's what I'm saying. Don't accept defeat. Don't accept defeat. When you get the hey me energy, it's asking you to be still so uh, spirit may speak to you or resonate with you in a different form or fashion. It also is an indication. Watch for the signs and synchronicities. Something about the daytime hours, getting a sign or synchronicity during the daylight hours. hours okay. You're being led to the Six of Wands. Six of Wands coming in. Total victory, complete success. Some kind of glow up going on here. But I also have to say some of you are looking for a gift of flowers. And there may be the color red that I was talking about. As Juliet posts a red flower in the chat room. Isn't that interesting? And we have the Four of Cups coming in. Okay. Now the Four of Cups is talking about there's going to be an unexpected offer of love, help, and or assistance. Okay. Now let me say this. When I speak of this unexpected offer of love, for some of you, this is going to be in the actual love life. And for others of you, this could be the love of family or friends. But I really think if we're talking about your love life, some, someone is about to show up bearing gifts. I'm hearing apology. Okay. We have the hermit. Well, you know what goes with the hermit? Bajiggity. My word, bajiggity. Meaning that you feel like a cat on a hot tin roof, that you've got that eclipse energy going on around you, that you feel like um, you're anxious and excited and overwhelmed. Bottom line is that hermit says you're on the right path. You're on the right path. You're doing something that you're supposed to be doing for the time being. You're on the right path. Go back to what I said at the beginning of those ratings with the, the letters or numbers or whatever I gave you out. will give you an indication that you are indeed on the right path here in the next few days. Okay. We do have, you are connecting with someone from the past. This could be the person that will show up. Let me tell you, I know you might want to shoot the messenger. Um, like I said, this is a collective. Take it as it resonates. This person you're actually thrilled to reunite with. For some of you, it's all across the board. You're reuniting with all of them. Friends, family, lovers, all of them. There's a lot of past energy coming on here. And again, I'm seeing the color red. 
we do have the two of cups look there there's the red rose and the date night the gathering of two people the agreement of two people could be doing some music or listening to a music venue if it's someone from your past perhaps y'all had a song in the past that you know y'all can connect to today's time um but definitely there's a date night here there's also the three of swords there's a warning here there's three of swords heartbreak this person has caused heartbreak before i'm seeing the letter m this person has caused heartbreak before or this is someone that is involved with a third party. Um, I'm not going to rule out a widow or widower here. That there's something there that they haven't let go of yet. Okay. So I'm going to throw that out there too. Now. We have. Mm, you guys are taking the time to count your blessings. And I like this. Some of you may be dropping to your knees, and that's never a bad thing either, you know, humbling yourself. But you're taking your time to count your blessings, and this is a good sign. Because you're losing your patience with that Three of Wands energy, there's something here you're losing your patience on. And tell you what it is, you want everything, you want it right now. You're like, Jackie, I've done what I'm supposed to be doing. I've done my gratitude list. I've done this, and I've done everything, and I'm just not getting my way. Well... You're not on your time. You're on spirit's time. And you need to re recognize and remember that. Some of you taking a, a ride to the mountains. I see a mountain view. Some of you are doing some holistic medicine. When I rattle off things like this, these are going to be your signs that you're on the right path when they just appear for no reason. By the way, Gene W., three of us this morning have had gorillas appear <laughs> for no reason whatsoever. That was a thing for the green team yesterday. Okay. The star comes in. The star comes into play. Uh, the star is talking about wish fulfillment. Delays attached. That's okay. Remember, you're digging for your patience and it's okay. Okay, I'm hearing Phantom of the Opera. Someone has a connection with Phantom of the Opera. Uh, something to do with opera. There's cats. Cats and Phantom of the Opera. These are these are um Broadway plays that I'm seeing. Okay. We also have here the nine of cups. Nine of cups. You guys are very intuitive. I'm sorry, that's temperance. You're very intuitive. Sagittarius may or may not resonate with you. Uh, temperance says you're doing things different. You're doing things different. And because of it, you're getting different results. You're getting different results. You're getting positive results. I'm seeing on also an aha moment. That glow up of the blindfold has come off. And you're doing things differently. Because you see things differently. When you see things differently, you're automatically going to change things up. And let me tell you something. This is a wonderful, wonderful change collective. Wonderful. Okay, we have the world. The world is your oyster. With that, we have the Knight of Swords. Something is rushing in. I feel for whatever reason, what is rushing in has to do with a message from the past or about someone from the past or this person from the past. Okay. And it's going to come rushing in. Yep, it's from the past. You may have had a work connection with this person. This is the Eight of Pentacles. Um, and for some of you looking at some kind of glow up, some kind of glow up, you're doing some research to make more money, side hustle, something like that. I really think you have a, a, a past connection, with a work connection with this person. There is that big offer of love. Someone coming in to offer all of that. All of that bag of chips certainly are. They can see the forever with you. And I'm not sure if you can see the forever with them. But they can definitely see the forever with you. They see that glow up. They see you're glowing up. We have the hair font here. Talking about manifestation. 
manifestation, remain positive, drawn into you. you definitely listen to the podcast today. Definitely. Okay. Um, drawing into you what you want to see. Okay. Now y'all going to love this. I see a donkey or a horse's ass. That does resonate with me, believe it or not. Um, and there is a blackbird here, like a crow, that may resonate with some of you. We have the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune is talking about, well, yep, yep, yep. That wheel is turning to your favor. It's about time, right? That's what I'm talking about. Wheel is turning to your favor. This is also one of those aha glow up moments. And this is your ancestors and angels guiding, guiding you. Okay. Um, you've got decisions to make. I ain't gonna lie. You don't want to make these decisions. You've been putting them off for a long time. And some of you are going to be backed in the corner that you have put crap off so long. Cause I'm guilty of this, that you're going to have to sit down and make a decision. Okay. You've waited so long. You got no choice, but to make that decision now. We do have the high priestess. It says you're grounded and you're centered. Red, red, red. There's been red all the way through this reading. Um, you're grounded and you're centered. You're intuitive. You don't want to hear your intuition. You know why you don't want to hear your intuition? It's not what you want to hear. Mm. Yeah, a little constructive criticism going down there, right? Hi, Christine. Kristen. Little constructive criticism there. You don't are avoiding your your intuition is not what you want to hear. You are surrounded by healing energy. It's ten of swords here. Okay. Mm. Someone kissing your wing. Maybe you're kissing a child's wound. This could be physical healing or it could be emotional healing of someone that has done you wrong. Someone that has raped you over the coals. You're moving away from that now. You're not the same person anymore. Yep, there it is. Eight of Cups. You are walking away. Notice he's wearing red, right? He, you are walking away. Someone or something that no longer serves the purpose. Done. Over it. My favorite card, the chariot. When does all this take place? Well, here is your answer. It's going to come rushing in when you least expect it. And it's your yes answer. And this is you leveling up. And this is you are no longer the person that you were. <laughs> Y'all want to know what provoked all this? You ready? It's the tower. You know, sometimes that tower has to fall down because it's just about rebuilding. Hello, Spirit. Spirit actually appeared on the podcast today. So, the tower is, you know, sometimes things have to burn down, right? To rebuild. You know, this is your anger and your temper and I never see a tower that leads to something worse. It's always going to lead to something better. But you need to know this is leading you up to that chariot because you're walking away from something. It's not going to sit right with somebody. Like I said, you're no longer the same person. Wow. Stay in your ground, folks. Stay in your ground because that's sudden changes and good changes. This is going to be with someone that you are currently not speaking to. Well, that's what's rushing in for you. Ah, we had these numbers last night. We'll give them to you again. 27 or 72. Really seeing 27 here. Some of your uh, random message. Practicing calligraphy. Calligraphy. I like it. I don't know how to do that, but I really like that. Um, this is someone that you are not currently speaking to. Want to throw out sapphires. Sapphires are here. May resonate with you as well as the warmth of the sun. And I don't think what I'm seeing here is like you being outside and enjoying the warmth of the sun. This is like maybe a book or something or some kind of poem talking about the warmth of the sun. Seven of Cups, you've got options. You've got options. Keep them open. The color green is now present as well as the letter G. 
Okay, so yeah. We're talking about keeping your options open. Don't let someone tie you down. Don't let someone influence you. Make the decisions on your own. The devil. The devil comes with that tower. The person's a little bit shady, right? The person is a little bit shady. Okay. Some of y'all going to be tempted with the forbidden. Just want to throw that out there. We do also have the wish fulfillment. Again, there's a delay. Delay's going down with it. Look at you guys. Going back to the beginning of your reading of the tunnel vision and staying focused on the money. But staying focused on the career. The money at hand. Okay? This is what I'm seeing here. It's, it's that. It's hard work paying off. It's like when you're folk, when you're looking at in another direction is when something else comes from out the blue. King of Pentacles could be dealing with a Gemini. Some of y'all partaking in a in the wine or visiting a winery. Feeling a little bit jiggity. How come wine and bajiggity come in right when Harry comes in the room? Yeah, it means that you, you're feeling a bit scattered. You're feeling all over the place. You're feeling very indecisive. And it's okay because a lot of us are feeling that. There is the Eight of Swords here. Okay, this is not the time to hold yourself back from something. It's going back to what I was talking about. Of making those decisions okay making those decisions that you're putting off don't withdraw you need to hit stuff head on i'm gonna say for at least the next seven days address things head on don't avoid them nine of pentacles you are independent you are financial you don't need anybody to take care of you some of you might have that sagittarius blood running through you because i see that need for freedom that need to travel but what you don't need is you are guard defense you don't want anybody dictating you what you can and cannot do you are not going to answer to anybody and some of y'all some of y'all are just going to stop and say i'm going to remain single Yep, in regards to the new beginning in love with that Ace of Cups. <laughs> okay, it's not going to set right with everyone. Not going to set right with everyone at all. So I'll throw that out there as well. It's particularly not going to set right with someone who is trying to lie, deceitful, or trying to manipulate you. <sighs> you know, the overused word of narcissist, but you may be... Well, dealing with a narcissist. Someone who wants to manipulate your thinking. Queen of Swords is going to come into play. Queen of Swords says you could be dealing with a Virgo. Uh, this person is going to come in. They're going to pour their heart out to you. Okay. This has been building up for a while. There it is. The Lover's Card. The Intensity and Love. It could be this Virgo doesn't have to be, but this person is coming in to offer a commitment. They see you in a different light. They see you as this new person. They want to level up. They want the commitment. They want something other forever. <sighs> You've got trust issues with this person. You've got some deep seated trust issues going on here with this particular person. Hey, Malibu. And we have the Knight of Cups. You're going to stand their ground. They want you to believe them. They do appear to be genuine. I think it's your trust issues. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. Someone wants to offer you the abundance. They want to offer you the world. Okay. Okay. This is the highest financial card in the deck, but it's more than this. We're talking about health, wealth, family, friends. They want to offer you everything. 
I want to offer you that. The dream, you know, living the dream. That's what they're coming in to offer. Living the dream. Signing of a legal document is going to be significant here. Okay. This is going to restore balance. For some of you, it could be a settlement or something like that, but it's going to be significant. In regards to you and the struggle with what you're going to do, you need to remain objective. This is Queen of Cups. Could be dealing with Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. But it's asking you, a green has come back into play again. It's going to ask you to remain objective. Think outside the box. Do not pass judgment on this person. That's what I'm hearing. Knight of Pentacles, new money is coming into play. That's kind of in the background. Remember, it's the slowest moving night in the deck. Don't bank on it right now. Here's your biggest problem right here. You're overthinking things. You need to get out your head. Lord, when you overthink things, everything goes hell. Yes, they have. Yes, they have. Remember, we have a new, new management over at YouTube. Strength. Strength is on your side. Strength on your side, no matter what you do. Going back to that you absolutely may be dealing with a Virgo. Um, an Aries energy may resonate with you, too. But bottom line is, I see that you're taking care of yourself. You know, you're you're taking care of yourself and you're putting yourself first and, you know, pat yourself on the back for that because you don't do that too often. And we have the full. Ha ha. I love it. You know what? As much as I see you are so worried about what people are thinking about you and what your decisions are, that fool is going to override that. Okay. That fool says, you know what? I'm going for it. I'm jumping in. Welcome back, Jean. Um, I'm going for it. And I am going to jump in with a feet. It's a new beginning. Death card energy. Most powerful new beginning in the deck. Endings, closures, rebirths, and new beginnings. So some of you are going to put your trust issues behind because you know that they're your issues. And we have ooh, the Page of Wands, Sagittarius Energy, Messenger Card. Whoever this person is, whoever you're getting ready to jump in with both feet, they're watching you like a hawk. They really are. They, now, don't get me wrong because I see the intentions as being pure. This is someone you, you know or been involved with, okay? They are what you know this. This is not a new person. This is the person I'm talking about. They're kind of sly as a fox, but they're someone from your past. They are watching you like a hawk. They may be coming in with a gift of flowers. They may be coming in with your favorite color is what I'm hearing. Something of your favorite color. Here it is. Judgment. So the struggle that you've got going on is what, what, what people are going to think about your choice when they know that perhaps you have trust issues with this particular person. And this person is going to do everything they can to let you know they want a second chance. Now, this could be in your love life. This could be with friends or this could be with family. But I am most positive this is someone you know. Page of Pentacles. This person could be self-employed, own a business, or thinking of starting a business or leveled up in their work or something. And part of it is to be authentic to themselves, which I said, y'all are going to want to listen to that podcast. And part of it is to impress you. That you're like their inspiration. Isn't that sweet? Four of Pentacles. 
next to that judgment card. Keep some things to yourself. Thoughts, ideas, opinions, particularly opinions to your family who are definitely going to voice their opinions of what you do with your life. Okay. Page of Cups. This person is being genuine, sincere, and authentic. Y'all could do maybe a stroll in a park or go for a long walk or whatever. I see it, some kind of nature connection here. You are, however, are juggling too many things at one time. Too much on your plate. Too much on your plate. Too much swirling around in your head. Too much going on there. The Empress, the Mother card, positive changes on the home front. Uh, for some of you, you could be getting a news of pregnancy or perhaps this person views you as um, their Empress. And for some of you, uh, it's messages from a mother that has passed. The message is happiness, happiness, contentment. Love arrows flying around. I'm hearing take the chance. Take the chance. So let's see what we got here. That comes with taking the chance. Something restoring your financial balance. Something restoring your financial balance is not everything you need. But that purse is open. It's going to be just enough to make it through. Make those ends meet. You know, no extra. That's okay. Ace of Wands, your aces are all about new beginnings. Your new beginning is now. Creativity is beginning to flow as well as what I'm seeing here. Some of you, it's like what you've been manifesting or what you've been daydreaming about is coming into fruition. The sun will shine brightly in all that you do. Guys are going to continue to work and grow your enterprise. There is some type of business deal, I swear to you, that is coming into you. Hello, Spirit. That is coming into you between now, this is the 18th of October, and between the 18th of November. We're talking about wish fulfillment, total and complete wish fulfillment. It's an emperor energy. Dominant, prominent, take charge type person. Someone coming in to save the day. Honestly, folks, I think this person is coming in with the intent to make your life easier. Whether this is at work, whether this is in your personal life, you do, you're suffering from the moon energy. Look, 11-11 on the screen. Love it. That eclipse energy is lingering with you. And we're going to end with the king of wands, Aries energy. Amethyst. Amethyst is there. This is you taking authority. This is you putting your foot down and saying, you know what? I've done A, B, and C, and now it's time to do X, Y, and Z. Going back to what I was talking about, the change. Changing things up. You're going to do things differently. All right. Last night, I was compelled to use a deck that I've not used in a hot minute. We're going to do that again here today to see what spirit has for us. Don't y'all forget, I am live tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern. Join me then. That would be a quick Aries to Pisces rundown. Before 7 p.m., your, um, your podcast is going up. A little bit longer today. Spirit had a lot of things to say. So be sure to check that out as well. All right. What do we have from Spirit today? Hearing overachiever, remaining open-minded. You're very passionate about what you're working on. All right, the first one that jumps out is Mary Magdal Magdalene with unconditional love. Love yourself, others, in every situation, no matter what the outcome appearance may be. No matter what the outward appearance may be. This is what I'm talking about. That whole judgment thing has been in the reading the whole time. We have fertility. There's the pregnancy. It's a perfect time for you to start new projects access new ideas and give birth to new conditions pregnancy new ideas time for something new is time to do things differently definitely consistent with your reading today we have compassion Woo, gracious 
All right. Maybe you don't have any. I jumped out of my hand. Release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. And y'all getting the message here? I mean, is this not driving home the points that we're talking about? Prosperity. The universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. What we're talking about here, folks, we're talking about divine timing. As much as y'all bitch about me talking about divine timing, divine timing is here. Okay? Expect a miracle with Mother Mary. Cannot make it up. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. Divine timing is here. Boundaries. Love yourself enough to say no to others. Demands on your time and energy. Putting your pet self first. And we have a focused intention. A couple of these we had last night. Keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target. And you will make your mark. We'll give you one more. We're going to wrap this up. Sacred space. Create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. Like I said, it was in the beginning of your reading. Some of you taking it, uh, taking it down to the knees. Nothing wrong with that. It is time to count your blessings. You're under divine timing. Your divine timing is All right, gang, that's what I have for you today, tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern. This will be your Aries through Pisces with a very quick collective. For those that have not joined what I call my green team, it is your membership. It is $6.99 a month for all your bonus reads and a lot more. Uh, you will find that link in the description box below, or please hit visit that channel's homepage and hit that join button if you talk to my green members over here i don't think you will be disappointed because they get to pull a card on uh wednesday nights too you guys have a great afternoon look for the podcast podcast will be up and live before 7 p.m just all about jackie day right all sorts of messages and if you did not check out yesterday's reading be sure to do so you guys have a great day and i'll see you tonight